This is Gerald Johan van Waas and the educational channel that is in support of the book Sound in Form and the theory is to be found in the development of the word as a separate book and some extras can be found in the application of the word. This video will fall back on the theory. The theory which is might be difficult to read but in fact it can also be very simple to use and I will demonstrate in this book uh, that you can use a theory and nothing but a theory use a little bit of logic no intuition at all and you can do the things right so I'm not using a fantasy after that I read uh, have made a book on sounding form as uh, some people were suggesting uh, already that I was going into this madman's direction. In, the, in this case, I will stick to the theory. I didn't want to uh, use something as a proof all the time, but in this case, I will stick to the theory. With the theory, I can do as much as I can do without the theory, because I understand what I'm doing and I can play with it, I can play with it intuitively as well. In this case, I will solely use the logic which has a foundation in my book. And in this video, I will show you how you can recognize time and space patterns. In the previous ones, I was busy with stimulating the, uh, the intuition to recognize the patterns and that you can see how patterns hang together. Uh, it seems that for some people I exaggerated. I'm not going to do that anymore. Maybe not any not any time anymore or for a very long time. The pattern recognition, that's enough. Now it's time to use the next level, the next layer. It's the, the, the words themselves. They have a reason why they are in that kind of order. And it's not just a pattern recognition which is used to recognize them and to give them an order in our minds. No, they also follow an order just like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 is following a certain order. This order is placing every letter on a certain uh, point in time and space. And I will explain in the next video and I will apply it to a couple of words as an example without much interpretation. So there are three regions that all the letters fit into. The first region is the region of space. The next region is the region of time or the time schedules or the delays and a feedback process that tries to, to get all the delays back in order. That's more or less all the letters in three different aspects. Here's what are the schedule, as you can see. This is the schedule with all the letters or with an order in space, in time, and in the feedback process. Ordered just like numbers. So they fit with numbers, they fit with the geo, geo, uh, geomet geometry. So I can also change them into the geometrical forms based solely on this. Uh, this uh, this scheme but I will not do that today and this but today it's only the space and time and it's in fact very very easy to do and I will use four examples four words immediately in the words you can recognize uh, if some of these three regions are dominant or not dominant is it something that simply fits in space in uh, as a physical object in space without changing any change over time without dependency in time just a thing as a thing that will fit in space or is it more related with delays that something is can only be formed after a while or does it need feedback before it can uh, can uh, can uh, be itself, can uh, finalize itself, uh, be uh, a complete picture of itself. All these things you can immediately recognize instantly, 
simply by knowing where the letters are, uh, in which uh, phase they, uh, they uh, are. So I have four words which dominate in one of these regions. The first one is the, let, uh, the, uh, the word ball. Ball is a completely physical thing which has only physical features, doesn't need anything of with time, doesn't need a feedback, even when you can play with a ball, it's still a ball if you don't play with it and if you don't do anything with it. You can throw it in the air, see that it is, uh, it is uh, maybe even changes place in over time, the ball is always the same, it doesn't depend on it. The ball is simply the ball, physical, on a place and so on. And how do, and I recognize it because all of the letters are letters from the three-dimensional space. And though, how do I recognize it? There are also the three regions, center, volume, edge, which have a play of order. Yeah, I can uh, even read it, what it is about, uh, simply by following the theory. So the B is on the level of the volume uh, values of the edge. So it means it is at the edge of the volume. So that is the expansion already of the volume. That's the starting point, the expansion of the volume. And this is just the logic, the theory, no fantasy. Then I come to a, a center, a center point. So this center of the word also has a central point nothing else it has a clearly one pointed center where does it lead to to l l is in the volume values in the volume so it is about volume it ends in volume it starts with the expansion of volume and it ends with volume in the center and this describes a ball purely logic purely proof that the theory works and that it is no fantasy. Next word, bowl. It's almost like a ball, a bowl. You can have a bowl for bowling as well, but I looked it up at the internet, bowl, and I may come to this form. Okay, let's analyze this form. What does it need? Just look at the letters. Where are they? They are, the half of them are in the three-dimensional space. Half of them are time-related. What does that mean? that probably you need something that changes over time. That's the association that we have here, a deliberate association, but let's follow what happens. So we know already that this is a three-dimensional object because it starts in the three-dimensional space letters. And also it must have functions that have a certain delay before you know where, uh, to, to become complete. How do I read it? Uh, I, can re I have to read it uh, from starting from B. That's the physical expansion, we know already. The O, that is lying in the volume of time, so it is lying on, an ex, um, on a process that has a delay. So there should be something in it, it's about something that is in it, that is depending on the process in time with some delay. So what is in the bowl is not, not fixed, there is a delay what should be in it. And this is extending, it's extending its time, it's extending its time outwardly because of the w that follows it outwardly the, the so you have to find it somewhere outside the bowl as well you can uh, logically associate with it is it correct or not or in my fucking mind uh, doing mind games it has is there you can read it on the scheme so it is related there where do we, will it lead to after the W, it will lead to L. L, what is L about? It's the physical world with a physical forming object of volume. So the volume at the end is what, of course, if you read it, it will lead to material that will fill it in. Uh, that is what you can easily associate with it. Is it too far edged? No, it is B expansion of a volume to O, 
a, pro, a, a process is somewhere in the lay of W something that will have to be found outwardly that's th that also hangs together and what will it be it will be again something physical something a form the form can finalize itself yeah the bowl is empty because the the it will be filled only after a while this is fantasy maybe next one tree how the, can i read it the tree one is has almost all the letters in two uh, parts it is has the letters in the time schedule so it's based upon time and on delays but it's also in the feedback system uh, half of it is in the feedback system but it starts in the physical world with a t now the t in my theory is uh, uh, associated with a horizontal line with certain conditions you can start from there as a horizontal line so if you use the line that's the T, the, the, the uh, sorry, the vertical line, the vertical line. If you use the T and then go to the next uh, uh, word of, uh, it's a tree, the tree, uh, the next uh, letter is the R. So the R lies in the volume part. So it, it is uh, in the process of finding feedback at the edge of finding it in the r it, it it's the second part it is finding the feedback it is changing so much that it will find its feedback that's the r in it you can read it logically in the order here uh, when you know what it is lying behind it it's the feedback process it's the part of the of the of the uh, volume part so you can read it like that it's a, a logical order it's a logical way to think with it so I have a line which finds feedback in the volume in volume where do i do i end it two times in the a the a where does it line it lies in the uh, volume part of time so in the development of time so what does this happen there is the line which uh, tries to find feedback uh, uh, no, engages itself in a feedback process and finds this feedback process over time it, it you can associate it very easily with the fractal which uh, breaks itself up but it's but the tree is even more it is not just this very steady form of breaking apart like like the branch is it is also in a feedback process and changing uh, like that is that fantasy no you can uh, you have to make of course a logic in it but you have the element you have to try to read it you have to make a sentence with it you know the words uh, wh with which to make the sentence with it this is still interpretation yes but it's not the same as fantasy i have the elements i take them together i bring them together and i try to read them do i read them very correctly maybe i can read them more correctly but the elements where we are in the feedback system where we are in the volume uh, center part or in and at the edges you can read you can find on a schedule even and it i know that it works uh, uh, because i've uh, proved it over and over again that it is a system that is followed by the words uh, combinations let's go to the last word song that's where i got the feedback process as well that's the first uh, video where I got a lot of feedback, negative fee feedback, because they said like I was uh, just imagining things that weren't there, or yeah, that's, again the the crazy the crazy person uh, effect uh, that uh, I needed to find reality because as nothing what I said was uh, comprehensible. That's the message that I got. It is about feedback, again song. I I already put it in the world that was my song i thought an intuitive song will be heard but of course i know when you hear your uh, when you sing your first song by going towards the city and know that okay so i will go to the people it will be heard the first uh, 
people that you hear when you come to the city or the first sounds that you hear are the barking dogs these were already there i hope i don't hope that people react on everything and it just doesn't matter just let it seep in learn from it i don't care what what people have as a personal opinion but sadly i had the first feedback of the barking dogs so the, what did, do you see in the feedback process you have it a word that starts with s so you know already immediately just by reading this the song is about a feedback process a feedback process that immediately tries to get a result it's the last letter so it's at the edge of the feedback that that uh, that you can uh, handle even or wh whatever so it is this final result in the system it goes over to O, the, which is in the middle of the time schedule. So it also says, I'm looking for feedback in a time process, in a running time process, in the volume. So it is in the volume, in the material that is running in time. The next letter, the N, is uh, in the middle of a center attention volume in the center attention so i'm trying to give it a certain form for center points of attention where this attention leads to to the g there in the feedback process again and it's in the feedback process in the center points at the edge of the center point so it, it's in the risk zone of the central leading point so it gets you to a leading process that is will create results because at the edge at the third part yeah, that's a part of the theory the the first the second or the third part of of uh, uh um no not part the third uh uh stage of uh something that happens is at the edge of falling apart or is at the edge of increasing or is in the edge there is in the third part is always at the edge of change and so the, you have to read it like that there's a way to read it how i read the the word song can be read from the scheme itself you so you know as it's feedback based during a time process with the development of its elements and this should at the end via the g create its utmost central effect of a feedback tool i did receive uh, the first feedback indeed uh, and I already described it, what I think about it. And it uh, gave me the impression like, uh, shall I only f uh, find more basis uh, to uh, develop of the theory and explain this as well? And um, I, I don't have much uh, need for myself to 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 get more proofs on a paper paper i want to attract a certain, just people but they have to trust also that i have already found something this is one the one of the basis this is one of the basis of theory that can you can be learned easily maybe in this way you can also by this theory can develop the intuitive associations it's also a kind of logic it's a kind of logic which for me is truthful and uh, certainly not a fantasy or a mind losing bullshit or something and i hope this video again proved that there's more going on there is a system behind the letter combinations and i can i know i can play with it what do you want what do we, we want only theory i can also look for uh, mathematicians and, and so on to just to have a plain programmable files and then uh, leave it to the, the uh, for the for the rest i could do follow that path as well uh, but uh, i just uh, hope that it can broaden itself to also everybody's sensitivity towards language and letters letter combinations and their way of thinking it's a logic that you can learn it's a logic not a fantasy this was again 
a demonstration of something that you could find in the development of the word, the theoretical book, and this will give you another angle that you can use to learn the theory with a foundation of the theory. Anyhow, thanks for watching. This was Gerald to Antwerp. There's a website too, and you can subscribe to the YouTube channel if you like to uh, stay tuned for more uh, demonstrations. Thanks again. Bye bye.